Hi everybody, I'm Dan, and here with me I have Jim from Four Core Heating. And today we're gonna to be talking about load calculations and, and why they really matter. So Jim, why don't you go ahead and yes. take it away. Um, so basically when you're, uh, size, you wanna size your furnace correctly for your house. Um, okay. That's really important. Um, if you go, if you don't size it big enough, obviously it's not gonna heat your house correctly. If you size it too big, that's going to cause other issues like major drafts um, and inefficiency and more wear and tear on the furnace because it's turning off and on more often than it should be. Um, so so to, I threw this up on the screen here. Uh, what? Tell me what's going on here. Yeah, so that's actually the load calculation program. Uh, as you see there, you know, I, I, we draw up the floor plan of the house basically. And then once we have the floor plan drawn up, we do the um, we put all the information in. So type of siding the house has, uh, type of windows, um, if there's insulation in the ceilings and walls, um, for air conditioning, what's what direction the house faces. That's not as important for heating, but we still put it in there. Um, so basically, we put all this all this information into this load calculation program, and it comes out with. Uh, exactly what you need. Um, the total room load that you see there on the bottom of the screen uh, for heat and cool for the entire house. So that tells me basically we would, for this instance, need a, about a 70,000 BTU furnace and a two and a half ton air conditioner. And those are just the numbers I get off those numbers at the bottom, that 62,669 and the 27,294 uh, right next to it. So, so yeah. I mean, so really, uh, it seems like uh, there's quite a bit that goes into it. Th does every um, furnace maintenance company go into that into that depth with software and and really do that, or what do you what what, what kind of happens in the industry? Why why are you guys different when it comes to that? Um, well, if if the licensed contractor isn't doing it, they should be. Um, it's mainly for you know when you're sizing it for new equipment. So when you know that furnace is 25 years old or whatever, it's time to replace it. Um, that should be done on on most houses just to make sure it's the right size. Because the popular thing to do 20 some years ago was just put the biggest thing that you had in there. Gotcha. Uh, load calculations weren't so popular at that point, ma mainly because of technology. You used to have to do all that by hand. Okay. Now we have the computer program that does yeah. it. It doesn't take that long to do. Yeah. Uh, it's longer to size up the house and get the window sizes and everything like that. Um, but once you have all that, you can just put it right into that program, and it gives us the exact number. So, cool. and I guess in. for the for the buyer, that probably mm -hmm. translates into energy savings and cost savings, right? Getting the Definitely. right size furnace in the house. And yeah, the right size is imperative because now you are you're you're operating at peak efficiency. Okay. Um, you are also you know reducing the risk of wear and tear on the furnace if it's too big. You're making it more comfortable for yourself. Again, if the furnace is oversized, which was a popular thing to do you would, the temperatures would spike and then go down. It's it kind of like a wave. So this kind of gets rid of it. If you're sized right, it's more even steady heat, um, even with, you know, basic single stage furnaces. Cool. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to know more information, obviously contact Jim here. He's an expert at, at uh, furnace installations at fourcoreheating.com. Uh, we'll be looking forward to connecting with you guys on uh, calculating the right size furnace for your home. Thank you.